Okay, we'll call the meeting of the SBSU for uh, February to order. Uh, I'd just like to amend the uh, agenda for one second, please. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to be getting in the finance uh, a contract about the energy efficiency at the BS at the uh, SBSU uh, building on uh, Beach Street uh, with a couple thousand dollars savings and. Uh, I guess Rick went back to uh, get the contract and bring it. So just alert you to that under Treasury report. There'll also be that. Okay, yeah. and there's no uh, executive session needed for this evening as well. Well, I like to have a little short one because I mean I hate hate to do this. I wasn't. I had to leave in an emergency for my last <coughs> meeting, and it would. I don't like asking anybody what went on, but I would like to have just a brief update. Can we have it at the end of the meeting then? Yes, we can yeah. have it at the end of the meeting. I'd like to have a brief update okay. because no problem. I hate to do that, but I stayed no, as long right. as I could and I have to leave and now okay. I just wanna yep. make legit. sure that I get the right so the get yeah. That's legit. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, then the first item we'll have is public comments. Any public comments? Seeing none. Finance. Uh, treasurer's report. <coughs> we have motion to accept treasurer's Hello. report. Hello. Do you have a second? I'll second it. All right. Discussion? Seeing none, all in favor of the treasurer's report? Okay, unanimous. Okay, uh, Mr. Now, Chairman, on, on item number three, yeah. I was the one that asked to have to have that uh, postponed so I could uh, so that we could read it. So I'd like to have the uh, to, I'd like to make the motion that we that we approve the administrator's evaluation plan. Let me just finish up number two because remember I mentioned we're going to have to vote on uh, energy savings that we right. issue at the central office. And let's get that done and then we'll go right to that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm late. Um, so what's coming around is the. Um, Proposal for the um, energy, the solar contract to the um, uh, education consortium across the state. Um, we've got a agreement with Ampersand Energy. Uh, they have a Gilman landfill project, and the discount will be 24 percent. Uh, this is strictly for the supervisory union office on South Stream Road. Um, so, need a motion if the board so chooses um, to enter into that contract. So, we're looking at $2,200 energy savings a year? Yep. Okay. I have a motion to accept. So moved. I'll second. Second. It. All right, Leon. Discussion. Is this the Larry, go ahead. Rick, where's the uh, Gilman landfill? Gilman, I assume. I don't know exactly where. It, where okay, it's it's around. not around here. I think it's I think it's up um, in something in the Springfield area. Okay. But don't quote me on that. Thank you. Uh, it's. Yeah. Quick, is this the same thing that Mount Anthony voted on last yeah. night too? Yes. Oh, it's just everybody has a piece. This is the SBSU's piece of that project. Okay. Thanks. Any other questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Raise your hand. Okay. Against? No. Oh. Um. We got three against. There's Larry, the, where, 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 oh. Fran, Fran, and, and Jim. Jim. <coughs> the motion passes. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Personnel. Okay, George. This is. I, I, well, that came up at the last meeting and I asked and uh, so I'd like to make a motion that we approve the administrator's evaluation plan. So okay. I second? I'll second that. All right. This was at the last meeting. If you remember it was handed out during the meeting and George uh, asked that he, he have time to read it. He's read it and he says no problem. <coughs> and, uh, and it's on the pack, it's on the site with all the electronic so it's the first item on that. So that was the one you read last night. Whatever. Any questions from some, anybody else? <coughs> Seeing none, all in favor of accepting the administrator's evaluation plan? Unanimous. Okay. <coughs> Next item four is the consent <coughs> agenda. I have a motion to accept? So moved. And a second? second? All right, second. Now, question. Does anybody have? It? Yes, Jim. Just, just, uh, I want to ask every time. So, so there's, there's two replacements for. Uh, 
I have it right in front. I was looking for it for uh, special ed teachers. So my question was, do we try real hard not to replace them? We try real hard not to replace them. <laughs> Got two people. So whatever there's an opening, that's the, that's, that's the best time to maybe eliminate it this year or not. But I agree. Thank you. Something that comes up a lot when we hire new people, and uh, <clears throat> when I was in Boston last week, I picked up a copy of the USA newspaper, and they had a, a survey of all 50 states in the United States as to the quality of the background searches for their <coughs> teachers within their states, and Vermont came up number one. We supposedly do the best job. Oh, wait a minute. According to the USA report, on that, I just happen to have it with me. <laughs> Vermont received a grade of F on background checks, and here's the here it is. If you'd like to see it, we are. And I wanted, I wanted, I was going to bring it up under other business. The bottom, nothing in the. No, Vermont's green. We got an A, George. Yeah, we it's under a. the. A. Yeah, it's yeah. under the. Uh, <coughs> it's under the F column, but it's I colored apologize. green. I read it wrong. <laughs> so, George, you get an F in reading. <laughs> 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 Here it is. <laughs> no, I was but that's really, good uh, news. <laughs> I know sometimes we question uh, administration about how come we don't have it. How come? Great day. It looks Great like day. the state yeah. does a real good job with the federal government, state doing all these background checks because there is a problem. In some states, it's very weak, and teachers like will bounce from Mississippi to South Carolina to Arkansas after they've been accused of, uh, it could be a molestation, it could be stealing, whatever it is, they don't keep a very good record. So the federal government is looking into getting one database for teachers so they can keep track if they have a problem in one state that everybody else will know about it. But uh, again, it's, it's a good feather in our hat for the state of Vermont. Anybody wants this job. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's an old digression, but it always comes up when we hire new people, as uh, Jim mentioned, about did we get the background, did we get it? It seems like it takes a little longer than we'd like to, but it seems the results are worth the wait. Yeah. Okay, any questions on the consent? Seeing none, all in favor of the consent agenda? Raise your hands. <laughs> Against? Abstentions? Larry? Okay, thank you. Okay, policies. We have one, four, two, six, one, and this is a warning. So we have a motion to accept. Go and a second by George. Okay, now your question, George. Um, I want, under that uh, substitute, I, I would like to um, bring it up for discussion with the board and to find out whether it would be make sense on that policy that's um, asked for a warning tonight whether it might make sense that if we have a teacher that's in the system and they've been here for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years and they want to be on the substitute list, do you think that we should add something to this to say that they could go on the substitute list without having to go through a workshop and all of that if that's they're licensed the and have a place? That's already part of the policy. Well, that's... that's well, that's, yeah, I, I wanted to hear what oh, it, well, him, yeah, if you don't mind it. it we got the policy by line, and if you pointing something out and you have some questions, they, they're numbered. Well, I didn't find that in there that says that they can, that they, they in fact can be in there. Okay, okay. That's what you said. Okay. I thought it was in there, though. They didn't have to take any of that. It says Required. I, I ask that in view of the fact that we seem to have such a hard job getting substitutes and I know for a fact that there are teachers that have retired that said well I don't feel that I have to go and do all of that and if they've been licensed and we know they're good and everything why should they not automatically be able to go on this list and use them that's well, the point we, I make. Well, we have one part on line 38, and laid off teachers shall be listed first in order of length of service on the list uh, used uh, to, to be called for substitutes first. You know. So that's that part there. I'm trying to find out exactly where you next paragraph. Yeah. Retired educators is starting with 41 on there. It shall be considered uh, to be whole a license or endorsement. So, uh, 
uh, held at the at the time of retirement. Retired educators are those who are withdrawn from active service and so forth are required to receive retirement. Uh, such additional. Huh. <coughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I get. Uh, Leon, Just having current finish, uh, read on that 48. What I'm 40, to yeah, 45 is, to 48. Yeah. We talked about that. What you yeah. was asking is what they got to have update payroll records, have a current uh, criminal uh, background check per continuous employment provision mod, uh, model or relicense requirement. There's things that they need to meet the requirement of to be able to do that anyway. I mean, if they were going to be a teacher, if they were still a teacher, they still in the times up at five years or whatever. They got to have relicense. They got to go and repeat those things. So yeah, those I, are those I, things there. I'm specifically speaking to that last sentence in 48. It says uh, mandatory compliance training. Line 48. Yeah, I think it, what it, that's it, referring to is what all employees do. It's an online point. You know that <clears> you yeah. understand. Uh, abuse, uh, reporting abuse obligations and all that. It's an online you gotta do process that, that uh, all our employees do every year. So um, all substitutes would do all, it. All employees do that every year? Online, yeah. Really? These are changes that are happening in the world today that you certify that you're having to go through a lot of different things every year. You <coughs> know, I didn't realize that. every year. Uh, power educators and our, actually all staff members do it, even central office mm -hmm. staff. Going, it's a, right, we yeah, we contract with a with a ser online <coughs> service that everyone they, you have to read through it and then answer the questions to it. So they would still have to do that part. But I think what Judge might be referring to is not to have to go through a workshop on like yeah, classroom did. management that's and right, something right. like that. Yeah. So I don't that's think that's what the compliance no, that's training not what that is. is. No. All right. Okay. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, <coughs> to warn substitute teacher policy. Any other questions, comments? Seeing none, all in favor? Yep. Warning, unanimous. Okay, uh, superintendent's report. Just a couple items. Uh, George, thank you for moving that. Um, that's one of the things I was gonna talk to the evaluation process. Uh, Assistant Superintendent Donna Leap and I uh, most of this month's activities uh, has been surrounded with the evaluation process of all principals and directors. Uh, the process we've been using is meeting with them. They set their <coughs> their goal, which you saw on the action plan, what their goals are, their action plan that is part of this packet that we are now using for the second, second consecutive year. Um, provision that is in the principal's contract is that we have to evaluate all principals uh, by March 1st. So that is our first priority that we get it, we're getting that done and uh, we will have that done. And then we'll go on to, it, it's a little bit early in my opinion, but that's the date that's in the contract. And then we'll go on to completing the evaluations for all uh, uh, directors and we've met with them all to help uh, set their goals and trying to align it to the standards within their own profession, whether it's HR or finance, and what their what their own uh, organizations identify as the standards for those positions. So it's so it's a work in progress, but it's essential to uh, properly evaluating all staff and making sure that the process is consistent with every employee every year so what's the deadline for the administrators in the central office evaluation? it varies by um, some, their contracts so we're oh. yeah well, they're different um like well, yeah some of them are yeah. they're still not all standardized well, that's one yet. thing you were going to try to do is standardize yeah but some of the contracts were already rolling over okay. so <coughs> that that's <coughs> other uh, than act 46 Monday night. I don't know if we're going <laughs> to talk about that somewhere else, but we did I, have. I a, was just going to mention we yeah. did meet in Whitford on Monday evening uh, and talk about uh, Act 46. Mm -hmm. And we have two more meetings left: one for Bennington and one for North Bennington. North Bennington. And the dates haven't been set yet. <coughs> and uh, also, don't forget uh, yes, to tell the people out in TV land that uh, voting is this coming Tuesday, March 
first. Both, both polls are open seven to seven. And uh, again, there's school board <coughs> okay. positions open, I think, in just about every district. So let's everybody do their job and get out <coughs> to vote, as well as you know, presidential and other local offices. And that's all I have. Anybody have anything else under other? Okay, seeing none, uh, Leon, you want to make your motion? Oh, yes. I move that we go in executive session for personnel. Second. 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 Okay, all in favor? Okay, unanimous.